Well, good morning and welcome to Integrative Preparedness. How are you all today? I'm Steve Smith. <clears throat> First off, welcome to all the new people. We have new people joining all the time and it's great to have you both here and over on the Patreon channel. Uh, we hope you enjoy it and get a lot out of it and comment if you want to and just be nice and and contribute your thoughts and questions and I think you'll enjoy it. We have some great people here. I say that I have the best and smartest uh, commenters uh, in YouTube land and <clears throat> every video that I put out and I read the comments just goes farther to prove that. Um, <clears throat> just before we get, I want to ask you an important question. It might be one of the most important questions that you could ask, that I could ask you and you could ask yourself as, as relates to preparedness and that is, are you preparing? And, and right out and right now everybody says, well of course, why, why would I be watching? And no, 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 no. Are you really preparing or are you just playing? That's, that's what I'm going to get into. Uh, before we get there, I just want to, to remind you that this and all of my videos are brought to you by our main sponsor, regardless of what YouTube puts on, and that is the Stone Mott series, my series of books in which I explain exactly how to prepare for, how to survive, and how to rebuild after a total collapse. It's the reversion, the revival, the renewal, and appeal to heaven, the blessings of freedom, and the brand new one that just came out. Hostages to Fortune. <clears throat> They're available from Amazon or from me, and how to do it is right down there below. I'll have a special announcement about that later if I remember it. Um, <clears throat> I, I wanna I wanna give some some uh, some props. I, I want to compliment one of our patrons, one of our Patreon patrons, who has added so much. If you're not on on our Patreon channel, you're shortchanging yourself. Uh, you owe it to yourself for a buck a month to get so much more, I mean, really professional advice, not just from me, because there's a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't put it on YouTube because uh, it, it, it's going to go over the head of, of, of most people. And it's, I reserve those kinds of things for the people who have shown me they really, they're taking this stuff seriously and, and they're with us over there. But in addition to me, there are, we have some, some, uh, some patrons who are just, I mean, top-notch, and they add so much to the discussion. One of whom, now Hondo Bob has put up so much stuff over there about the real information, the scientific information about EMP, CME, HAM, all that kind of stuff. And I hear a lot of other channels talking about this stuff. They really don't know what they're talking about, but they're trying to address the subject. I also don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to those things, okay? So I don't talk about those things, but I... <clears throat> We have people who know those things from the inside out, and they contribute a lot on the Patreon channel. If you're interested in it, and you should be, that's uh, just another reason. <clears throat> but I just got a message from another one of our top tier guys over there. I'll call them tier one guys. <laughs> uh, Triple G. Hey, he goes uh, GGG Farms. You might have seen his his comment. Well, probably not on on YouTube. He's not here on YouTube, but. Um, here and on other channels, he's, he's on our Patreon channel, and he adds so much. Um, he has just put out a couple. He has a long, uh, his, um, his, his, his work experiences in pharmaceuticals and things like that. And how important is that, right? Not just from what we've been through recently, but for preparedness purposes. We talked about the importance of, of SHTA medical. You know, hey, guys, you need, you need more than a tourniquet, okay? Um, <clears throat> and he has really added to it. He just added a, a, a wonderful in, in the community section. So here again, even if you're on Patreon, make sure you go to the community section as well because that's where all this really good stuff uh, gets put up from our, our patrons. And he just added one on uh, pharmaceuticals, and he, he asked me, he our people are so nice. They say, with your permission, Steve, I'll, I'll add this and that. And you, you betcha. I mean, these people, they've gotten to the point, they don't need my permission. They've shown, you know, what kind of people they are in the past. And I love to have them. So I said, yes, he's going to do more on antibiotics <clears throat> and a whole range of things on um, that are important to us as preparedness-minded people uh, over there. So that's, he also gave me, he sent me a message 
And that's another thing that I like about the Patreon. He sent me a message uh, with some suggestions for Patreon um, videos. And, um, and right now there's somebody out there going, How come you're just talking about Patreon? I want everything for free. <laughs> I don't want to have to spend a dollar to, to learn more. You see, that, that's what I'm going to talk about in just a second. Are you preparing or are you just playing? Okay, and so he, he has suggested, he says, how, how about some of these? Who is the enemy on the street? Okay, for, for those of you who are new to me, I, I was a police officer for a long time, deputy sheriff. I did years undercover in both organized crime and narcotics. I'm a street guy. I know about... Uh, I know about guns and gunfighting, but I also know about survival on the streets. And, uh, and this is something that I've gotten into a little bit, but I think he's right. I need to get into these more because they really are the things that, uh, that you need to know. And the people on Patreon have shown that they have uh, you know, enough understanding to invest uh, in themselves to learning. Uh, so who is the enemy on the street? Another one is the dynamics of encounters. Uh, I, I've addressed that in, in a couple of ways, but within other subjects. And I think the way that he has phrased it here is exactly right. Dynamics of encounters. Uh, by the way, I, I, I am keeping this note in the new Stonemont uh, notebook uh, that just is now available out there. I'm finally becoming more organized. I'm keeping my lists and questions and stuff like that. And... and uh, See all the questions that I've already marked off there? <laughs> um, so, And I'll, I'll, I'll have another announcement about this and the books later on. Stick with us if you really want to know. When to draw your gun? Excellent question. And I have a much different opinion on that than most people. As well as I have a much different opinion on when to put your finger on the trigger. Okay. Oh, no, Steve, you can't have a different opinion than all these people with no experience who teach all these gun classes. <laughs> when to consider shooting. That's right. And finally, the aftermath of a shooting and how to handle it. What excellent suggestions. I'm going to, I, I have put those on my list. I will show you right there. I put it on my list and I am going to be addressing those. Thank you so much, Triple G, and uh, feel free to send more ideas, and, and the rest of you, too. Feel free to send more ideas. Am I crooked there just a little bit? Looks like I'm leaning to the left. I don't lean to the left. Okay, are you, are you preparing or are you just playing? That's, that's the question that I want to ask. Um, and, and the reason that I ask this is, well, because it's going to make all the difference as to whether you actually survive. It, it really does. And I think that 90% of the people out there, maybe it's not quite that high, but it's, it's, it's a lot. The vast majority of people out there in the so-called preparedness community um, are just playing at it are just playing at it. They, they don't want to go beneath the surface because the surface is so fun to splash around on, right? The surface is where we can splash, splash, splash and, and talk about our bug out bags and the latest gun and I need the, the new SIG because it's this and that and, and I need uh, 14 tourniquets because I, I will look cool and I'll have them hanging all over me and I'll be ready for the next time I run up on something that 14 people need tourniquets and uh, I, I'm going to get more food and I'm going to get the latest gadget and boy this is cool and I spend all my money on Amazon getting the yeah, oh yeah, hey. Th th those, those are the people splashing around in the shallow end. You know, and, and I, I hate to think about that because what happens is that when a, an emergency really happens, it's not the shallow end. It all of a sudden is the deep end. And if you are familiar only with the stuff in the shallow end, you're going to drown. Simple as that. You're not going to make it because you know what? I, this, I, this just came to me. It's a good analogy. It just came to me like this. I didn't pre-plan this. If you got all your stuff that you're playing around with, I want you to just imagine 
you know, a, a, a couple of little kids splashing around in, in, in the, uh, the, the shallow end of the pool with their pool noodle and their inflatables and their goggles and their, 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 their toys, their, their pool toys, right? And they're splashing, they're having a great time. And all of a sudden, they find themselves in the deep end. What are they going to do? Okay. Well, well, you somebody will say, well, they can hang on to their floaties. That'll keep them alive. No, I tell you, you know, you, you know who's going <laughs> to who's going to survive is that kid without all that junk, who knows how to swim. Okay. And that's what preparedness is about: is knowing the the the, the skills, is having the skills, is knowing how to swim. Okay. So I so I want to make the point here. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of going beneath the surface of starting to address the, the serious part of preparing and surviving. Okay? Um, it's not about the junk. Okay? And I know there's an old saying. I've used it for years. Uh, you know, it, 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 skills beats gear every day. Okay? I, I call the people who are all consumed with, with the gear as gear steers. You know what a steer is, right? Because from a little distance, they look like a bull, but when you get close enough, you see they're missing some stuff that made them a bull. Okay, These are gear steers. Other people have a term that's less complimentary than that, but there are, you know, I won't go there. The reason that I know that and recognize that, <clears throat> that most people are just playing um, is from the difference in the the views that that my um, videos get, and also by reading the comments, and uh, not no, not so much on mine because they're all pretty smart on mine, but. But and reading the comments when I watch other channels. Now on this specifically YouTube channels, there's 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 good ones on on uh, Patreon that this doesn't apply to. But on on YouTube, and when I see the difference that when when something goes up that's just all scary, you know the latest problem that people can get their 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 fear fix from. Oh man, people just, I mean, thousands of people jump on that because they want to hear all about it. You know, and then they love it. And, and while, while I admit that, that the comments on my videos are pretty darn smart, the comments that I read on other channels are pretty dumb stupid. You know? And I'm not, they tough, and tough. Um, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I am not slamming the commenters you know, on others. I am telling the truth about our own here and, and if that butt hurts somebody well just go let your butt hurt you know I tell the truth and you know it's like Harry Truman said when they said uh, they was called, he was called give him hell Harry because somebody yelled at him give him hell Harry and he said I just tell them the truth they think it's hell well you know when when if you're just playing and you're splashing around on the surface uh, all of a sudden when that bottom drops out and you find that you're in the deep end you're going to find you're going to think you're in hell because you haven't really prepared now what really is uh, and and so that's also why I restrict certain and and it's going to be more uh, videos to just patreon because I don't, I don't really, while I want to share information and I want to get it out there, um, it's, it's not my purpose. I, I couldn't care less about having, you know, about how many people I have or thumbs up, things like that. Um, I, I'm really here as a teacher. I, I've taught stuff all of my life. I've trained people and things for the last well, 27 years. No, 47 years. Man, I made myself younger. All of a sudden, I felt younger than I was a minute ago. No, 47 years I've been training people to do things. And so that's really where my, my, uh, my center is to train, to pass on information that I know, not information that I've heard someone else 
say. Okay, when you're talking about preparing, you're, you're actually talking about saving your life. You understand? A lot of people don't understand that. I think since you're on this channel, you probably do. But a lot of people don't understand that. They don't understand that, that the purpose of preparing is to actually stay alive and that the, the alternative to that is being dead, getting killed, starving to death, whatever. Okay? Uh, that is, but most people don't want to go there. They, 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 want, they want to play around in this make-believe preparedness world uh, of, oh, aren't these, aren't these things terrible and fun to think about? Okay? I've used this analogy before. It's like the roller coaster. Oh, I'm so scared! Oh, I'm so scared! Oh, I'm so scared! Oh, I'm so scared! And you get to the end and you get off and you go, oh, man, that was so much fun. <coughs> <clears throat> just, just gave myself a cough from, from that. You know, most people, when they say, and, and it was the uh, was, it was the EMP commission, I, I wrote about it in one of my books. The EMP commission, clear back in 2000 or whatever, uh, projected, guessed, estimated, that 90% uh, of the people in the affected area would die after an EMP within the first 12 months from all sorts of things, you know, societal collapse, starvation, bad, bad water, bad food, violent, you know, all this. 90% uh, of the people would die in the first year after <coughs> an event, did I say, in the affected area. I, I, you know, who knows? I mean, how they come up with that, I wouldn't argue with it. I, I, knowing society how I do, I pretty much agree with it. Um, and the thing is, is that most preppers are going to be right in there in that 90%. Most prep, so-called preppers, not real preppers, not real prepared people. You see, that's, that's the difference. Um, they're going to be in there. Uh, first off, because they didn't, they didn't do the hard work. They didn't really prepare. They didn't prepare with the mindset that this is going to happen, or there's a good chance this is going to happen. And when you prepare for something, you have to prepare for it. It's, it's like training, you know, whether whether military or or police or you know whether you're playing for the for the big game, you know, you have to train, you have to prepare, knowing that you are preparing for the thing that's going to happen. Nobody goes out there on the field and, and, you know, goes to football practice and, and wrestling practice and all this kind of stuff and goes through that kind of stuff uh, because there's not going to be a game. Does that make sense? That's right. Because they know a game's coming, the match is coming, the cop trains because he knows he's going out on the street and he's going to have to deal with violence. And if he's going to survive, he has to have certain skills. The military, the same way. But preppers don't because too many are out there just playing because it's so much fun and they don't really think that it's going to happen. You know why? Because it's never happened in their life. It's not happening today. It didn't happen yesterday. So I can keep on you know, wearing my black T-shirts with the cool sayings on it and buying more guns, and I'm good. I'm cool. And I can get on the boards. Oh, my gosh, those those, those message boards, I guess. I, I, I never get on them. I've gotten on a couple a long time ago, and I read the most asinine elementary comments with people trying to one-up each other and show how smart they are. I never went back. The, these are the people that, that call themselves preppers. These are the core of preparedness. Uh, they're going to die. They're going to die. Now, whether you're going to die or not, whether it depends on whether you are actually going to be prepared. And my whole point of this one is you need to check yourself mentally. You need to see whether you really understand that these catastrophes are very possibly down the road. Okay, We've seen in just this last, you know, I've, I've talked uh, for a long time about the importance of financial preparedness. 
And every time I make a video about this, uh, I, I, I get like next to no views because people don't want to hear about it because finances, finances takes responsibility. Nobody wants to talk about finances. Nobody wants to, th you know, I want to talk about a go bag. I want to talk about a gun. I want to talk about that cool stuff. Well, you know, I'm sure there are some now that wish they had listened to me a little bit about the importance of financial preparedness. That's why I put together the, the new channel, the uh, Prepping for Prosperity. By the way, if you're not over with us on that, you need to be. I am covering so much stuff over on the Prepping for Prosperity. I'll put the link down below. Uh, and we, we're um, so much stuff that you really need to know. This is what's getting people financial preparedness, financial understanding. This is what's getting people and is going to get people through what's going on now and is coming because worse is coming. I'll guarantee you worse is coming. But most of the people out there will want to hide their heads. No, it's not. And I've got my go bag. I'm good. So the, the, you need to check yourself. You need to take a good hard look. Do you really understand that this stuff not only could, but probably will happen. It, it, it really will. That's going to make the difference. That's going to make the difference. And and whether you do or not, here, 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 here's where some, somebody else, I, I'm going to get one comment that said, you talked for 20 minutes and didn't say anything. See, this is the kind of dummy that's going to die. I've been saying 20 minutes worth of stuff in the last 20 minutes. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? A lot of people didn't. They're waiting for me to get to this, the, 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 the cool stuff on how to, how to barricade your house. Well, first off, I'm not going to put that here. I'll probably, now that I think about it, I'll probably do one, but it'll be on, on Patreon where people actually appreciate it. You know, not, not here where people just want to get their, their fix or, you know, try to show how smart they are by, by saying something like, well, yeah, but you gotta, okay. Listen, <clears throat> if you're involved in preparedness, you need to make it more than a hobby. You need to make it more than a, than, than a pastime. You need to make it your lifestyle. It has to be your lifestyle. When, when it becomes your lifestyle, it becomes normal. When things become normal, you're more comfortable when bad things happen. Does that make sense? I hope so. Because that's the, that's the, that's the biggest thing. If somebody were to ask me what's the most important piece of advice you could give me when it comes to preparedness, I would say simply, take it seriously. Okay, now I told you that I was going to have a special announcement on something here. <clears throat> As I told you, the, uh, the latest book is out, uh, Hostages to Fortune, and this is the first book <clears throat> that is also out in hardback. How about that? Uh, is that not cool? Uh, all of these books are available <clears throat> on Amazon in either Kindle or paperback like this. They are also available in hard, not not the rest of them. The rest of them will be when I have time, when I, I have to reset everything, but that's going to be a while because I'm, I'm busy with many other things. Hostages of Fortune is now available in hardback. Um, they are also available from me in paperback or just the Hostages to Fortune in hardback, if, if you would like. But the special thing is, and some of you have seen, <clears throat> that I came out, and this was inspired by Sherry Fancoli. Um, <clears throat> I came out with the Stonemont Notebook. It is the book that I'm keeping my notes in. Uh, it says, a stone, should I put on my glasses here? Yeah, I should. Um, it's the Stonemont Notebook. It says, Stonemont, where life is good. That's, that's the, the slogan that is on one of our T-shirts. And actually, the T-shirts are coming back out. Yes, I'll, I'll announce that pretty soon. And on the back, it's, a, it's just, just a notebook where you can, you know, keep your notes and your lists and your thoughts and your questions and all that. And it looks cool. This is also available in hardback. Um, and uh, 
on the back, I talk about, um, oh, and, and this, for people who buy the full set from me, I can't do this through Amazon, uh, I'm going to send this, I'm going to include this one to you for free. And, and, and on the back, I talk a little bit about what Stone Mod is. I say Stone Mod is a world apart. And you Stone Modders already know this. And that Stone Modders are the people who have read all the books or reading some of the books and, and continuing or getting started on the series. And I explain Stone Mod is a world apart, apart from the collapsing world surrounding it and the crumbling society that has devolved to the point where celebrity is valued over ability. Corruption is tolerated while character is attacked, and <laughs> we've seen that, huh? and death is promoted over life. You know what I'm referring to there. At Stonemont, a literary, virtual, and real-world community, the foundation of faith, family, and friends supports the ideals on which our country was based, but from which it is strayed. Stonemonters share those values and find within the pages of the Stonemont series a world they prefer to the decadent and crumbling world around them. It is a world of personal responsibility, worship of God, dedication to family, contribution to community, compassion for and assistance to others, and a celebration of the human spirit. Use this notebook to record your thoughts, keep your lists, and make your plans as you build your own stone mount and enjoy the freedom that comes from separating yourself from a world that is crumbling around you and live the life of self-determination God intended for you. And then down here at the bottom, I put, Accept the Lord, and it's one of my favorite uh, verses from the Bible. It's Psalm 127, verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. And then I put down also, visit us at uh, our, our new website. will be up pretty soon, stonemont.us. On the front, I have another one of my favorite uh, verses. It's Proverbs 16.3. It says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. And what that means is, because that's King James, and most of us don't speak King James on a daily basis. What that means is, commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. Okay, so that's the deal. If you buy the whole set from me, and I know that a lot of people already have it, but they buy more sets for gifts and friends and things like that. Anybody who buys the whole set will uh, will find uh, uh, one of these stuck in there from me at no charge. Right across there it says not for resale. Well, what that means is this is a proof copy that they sent me and just to, for me to make sure that they did it like I wanted them to do it. And I said, yep, you did it the way I wanted you to do it. And uh, so now they're available on, these are also available on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think they're $9.99, but free from me if you order the rest of the books. And uh, I think that's it. Guys, take it seriously. Your life is something to be taken seriously. Your, your, your survival is something to be taken seriously. Your, the survival of your children is something to be taken seriously. Stop playing around it. Stop splashing in, in the shallow end with all the toys and goodies. And get serious so that when you find yourself in the deep end, you're going to be able to, to be all right. Okay. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.